so this is the first one which we did yesterday creation of applications and modules this is the basic level once you are 100 percent comfortable just to go deeper also how i can learn deeper this is the repository where you can see the existing modules and try what how they configured it okay let's say like i want to i want to see this one just launch it first how it is loading okay it is loading a page and then how they link this one okay then just see it so these kind of thing you observe it later not now but if you st start seeing things from now you will get confused okay so this is where we started it and we ended it and next thing is uh, we also started something else what is that we just touched it and left it Inheritance. Why inheritance came into picture yesterday? For extending table means to take choices from incident table to our table. Yeah. That, that is one thing, that is one example, but uh, that is not the main Second. purpose of it. Second way of creating uh, tables. Right. Okay. So this is where we need to see today class. Okay, we need to create a different table. Okay, and the method is okay, extends table. Okay, so this is our main plot today. Let's see how much we will cover. Okay, it's very very important topic. So get <coughs> let's go to tables first. Before this, I will just cover one small topic. Okay. So, before extends table, no? I will just pass this one. And I will just cover one very, 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 very important topic called reference qualifier. Okay. So, reference qualifier is one of the very important topic for us. And even for interview question also. It takes minimum 13, 15 minutes. Once this 15 minutes pass, then I will come back here because there is something which we need to focus in this point, okay? Using reference qualifier. Right? Everyone agree? Yes. yes sir. Yeah. So see here, uh, where is our table? Where is our baby that we created? Uh, 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 this one. Okay. In this application, in this page, just to tell me, how many reference fields are there? Okay. Four. One. Four. Okay. And then two. Five. Two. And then three. And then four. 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 Okay. Everyone four? Facilitators. Facilitator. Yes. Very good. Five. Okay. So even list is also a reference type of field, but not exactly reference field. But the functionality is reference only so in this page you have five reference fields first thing okay our concept reference qualifier is only for reference fields don't publish because I am just uh, this statement is very 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 important now reference qualifier is only for reference fields okay don't when you are uh, attending interviews now, when you are speaking also, uh, you need to stress this one. Okay? Because you will get cross questions if you don't stress this one. Okay? Reference qualifier. What is the purpose of reference qualifier? First, we will see. Okay? First, employee name. Okay? And here, employee name, you can select the users of the computer, the users of the particular uh, instance right in in real instance maybe you will get a thousand of users in my organization maybe 50,000 users it will come maybe if it is bigger large organization one lakh users will come and here when you say users it is a combination of both active inactive what is the meaning of active inactive can you tell me like why inactive user will be there in the system what does it mean is see here group by active I said and then I have 24 users inactive <coughs> means they are active equal to false so why we need to keep them first of the organization sorry ma 
they quit the organization yes they are not part of yeah. the organization or they have another they move different they have yeah. planning yeah 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 they have see it's not like they left the organization maybe they joined as a contract and then they become as a permanent so once they become as a permanent maybe the contract account will be deactivated and permanent account will be created again with a different credentials that also happens in sometimes okay so either way the inactive user means it is not active okay but the question is why we need to keep the inactive user in the system why can't we delete it because they did some work for example like knowledge articles if we delete them they're gonna delete the work as well okay good answer others everyone got this point ma yes sir no okay okay let's say few people didn't get this answer okay what that is what does it mean is okay maybe take one <clears throat> anything it's not only knowledge but just take like this please bear the sounds okay uh where is this where is this where is this color color okay so huh, okay so let's say uh this one okay beth beth for beth there are two incidents created right as a caller okay as a caller for there are two incidents are there in the system there might be new there might be old okay it's there now if i delete this let's say this user account is inactivated okay this user account is inactivated right and he is not he is no more in the system he is there in life but he is no more in the system okay so what we do is so you see here it is inactivated now so consider like we delete this user okay so we delete this user which is a wrong way to maintain the data but still i am showing it when you are deleting it system is giving you a warning saying that these many places the user have dependencies so are you sure to delete yes i am i am sure okay so when before that i i would have do something oops kasaka uh gun <clears throat> too late <laughs> okay so what does it mean is give me one second asuka we need to do these things first so bed 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 give me one second ma i think i i need to do something so i am just getting back where i can find the deleted records in the system deleted table did we cover this point ma no we didn't okay. so let's say in system if you delete anything there is a place called deleted records okay under system definition deleted records will be there just to try here first sometimes if we are very much lucky you don't find here also okay but maximum times you will find here so here this is what i deleted so i'm i'm resetting it back okay selected it and go here and delete records give me one second so the record is restored now go back here incident table refresh it here and uh, get get this person where is this person where is this person bed 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 color uh huh Okay, he got it back, but uh, by incidents are not getting it back. Colon name starts with bit. Okay, let's take some other user. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, before that, I need to do carefully this time. Okay, see, Joe. Okay, for Joe, he is very active user. Okay. these many incidents are there as a caller for him these many incidents are created 
is just too problematic user okay so 49 just keep this number okay now these many uh, okay let's see so what i do is i will delete this user so okay i am deleting this joe user what happens to this existing incident this is what our main plot okay so delete it okay and this have these many things it should restore back the connections also because she said is there no? so the user is deleted now what happens to the database which are reference to this user account see here 49 are there, no? so this 49 user accounts. Maybe let's take uh, this one. Okay, if I refresh it, it will go because this user is not there. Okay, so all these 49 will become empty. This is the first thing. Okay, because this user is not there in the system. Okay, which is a data conflict. And if I refresh now, all these things will go because the user is not there. Filter. Okay, second thing is. Just to see one, this is the one, right? Which we just copied. Hmm. For this one, what happens to the Joe caller? It becomes empty. This is the reason we make it inactive. Inactive means the reference will be there in the system. The society will be there in the system, but it won't delete. If you delete it, the data will get conflict. You got it, my everyone? Is this clear? Yes. yes yes okay why we okay let's say what is the problem if i even okay let it be okay i got this incident and caller is empty let it be what happens it happens okay in the systems okay they the platforms that we manage are validated platforms validated platform means everything should be having some accountability there is something called audit Okay, see this one, the delete table <coughs> that you are in having some value called sys audit delete table. The audit means someone will monitor it. Okay, let's say this is my user account, these are my incidents and I am administrating it, I am managing it. I have to maintain that. If something goes wrong, then it comes to my head. Okay, who manages the service node database? service no platform service support yeah. team, right service no team this is our team so if this is deleted and this is become empty the audit people will come and say why this why this incident doesn't have a caller first thing without the caller how an incident is created so you are saying the issue is there but you who for whom the issue is created is he is not there then it is not a valid record so the database is not maintained properly first second it's a great escalation. Agree, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So now, why we, why we came here is, even we don't know. <laughs> what is our concept? Deleted records, we covered at least this one. Then reference qualifier, reference field. Ah, reference. Active fields, inactive fields. So why inactive fields? Okay, very good. Very good. Now I got it. Okay, I'm trying to restore it, but the connections are not establishing. I don't know. It should be. The user should get all of the things back, the connections. The incident should come automatically. Okay. So now, um, okay, inactive users, active users, right? So see here, in your system, these many active users are there. That means, Remaining people are inactive. Okay. And in incident page or career guidance page, you have a field called employee name. Okay. Here, you should not show inactive users. You want to show only active users. Why you will create an incident? Why you create a career, career uh, training query for an inactive user? Right? 
Is that make sense? Yes. So if he is inactive, why we need to show here? That is the question. Everyone agree to this point, ma? Yes. Everyone, other other yes. nineteen, eighteen people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. So sir. the point is how to restrict the data of a reference field. The statement I am just repeating: how to restrict the data of a reference field. Reference qualifier is to restrict the data of a reference field you need to repeat every line like this only okay there are few things where i will i will specifically mention for them please try to use the same wording okay reference qualifier is to restrict the data of a reference field okay then what are the reference field okay ref field or list field for now maybe sometime choice also will come but very rare I don't want to confuse you people. So this is the definition, ma. So now, what is the meaning of it? This is the meaning of it. So I want to see only active users here. I don't want to see inactive users. Then how I can do? Okay. So go to reference field. Okay. Again and again, I am using reference, reference, reference. You have to keep it registered. Okay. Go to configure dictionary. Okay. And only for reference fields, there is a extra tab will be there. Reference specifications. Just click that. And then here, there are three ways of there are three types of reference qualifiers: simple, dynamic, advanced. Okay. Okay. So right now it is already there in the simple, and in simple you have something to set the filters active equal to true. Okay, wherever you see this kind of uh, options, what do you call this option? Condition, Condition builder. builder. Condition builder, yes. So in simple, in order to restrict the data, in order to set the filters, you use condition builder. Using condition builder, you restrict the data or you set the filter. Okay, so now save it. I I set the reference qualifier using simple method. Okay, and then come come to our page and then see how many users you are seeing. So total 620 or something, 619. And active equal to two is 594. Okay, now the expectation is how many we should see here? 594. Is this correct, ma? Is this working? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Everyone agree? Yes. Sure. Okay. Now, next thing is if you agree, okay. Uh, just there are two more types of reference qualifier that also we see okay then next one is advanced dynamic we don't touch now okay but i will just tell what is dynamic because it's it requires so much of uh, other concepts dynamic okay in if you use dynamic you use dynamic filters that means you use business rules Or script include. Okay, this part maybe in anyone wants to go through it. Okay, there is one video in our channel. Script include after script include dynamic filter. Okay, dynamic reference qualifier. We'll do a separate video is there. I think 20 minutes video. You just watch it. But now don't touch it for learners. Okay, we will be covering it maybe after 25th class or 30th class because it. It requires business rules, server side scripting, script include everything to be completed. Before that, we should not touch it. Okay. And advanced, if it is advanced, how you set it? See here, when, okay, very simple. I set this one, right? So when I say advanced, the same filter will be converted into one code, system readable code. What this code, what this format is, Okay, 
maybe instead of seeing this way <coughs> go here i want to set something okay uh, i want to apply a filter okay restriction is like the restriction is i want to see only active user plus uh, email id who have the email id okay maybe if if if, the, if they don't have email id then we, i should not see one person left huh? 85 94 okay nine people left okay so this filter also i want to apply <coughs> okay so now this filter i will, how i will apply i will come here and then say okay another filter active equal to true and email is not empty right so two filters you are applying and running it <coughs> you can apply multiple filter filters also based on uh, your requirement okay so now see why i am applying this filter is okay if you go to this one okay when you whenever you are in a list view you applied a filter come to the last here right click and you have an option called copy query sorry okay copy query and it is copying something to clipboard and go here and paste it here okay so the applied filter is converted into the system readable one did we see this particular one act to true where we seen it just now we seen it right when we changed it to advanced you seen this one okay so let me copy it so go here where is this okay this one so this is called as first of all this this format okay this format is called as encoded query okay so encoded query is like this one whenever you have a filter if you just right click and query it okay it will the query will be copied into this format this is called encoded query okay so now when it is advanced type you use encoded query okay and see here when it is simple the same thing maybe you can apply using this one also it also works but that also works that depends on your convenient okay so i applied two filters now if i convert it the, it will become encoded query the system understand the filters in this format okay so if it is simple you use condition builder if it is advanced what you use what do you use enquired query <coughs> okay Encoded so now query. see it should be 8 uh, uh 585 so who have use who have you email id 585 if the email id thing is not there means 594 plus 9 so i applied two filters here one is active equal to true and email contains two okay so this is uh, maybe here we can have one more thing in advanced you can use enquired query enquired query is very important mom. we use it in server side script also very very important one we will see so many places and here you can use javascript also okay so this is uh, reference qualifier okay what is reference qualifier what are the types of reference qualifier and how you set the reference conditions using each type okay this one we are not touching because it is too much advanced okay i have some dependency to explain but if you know server side scripting script include and all if you are able to understand then uh, it is easy to understand there is a video in our channel you can just revise it but if you are learning for first time then don't touch it it will make you confused because the script is important to understand without script you don't understand the script include and then if you don't understand script include you don't understand dynamic filter if you don't understand dynamic filter you even don't understand this uh, particular option <coughs> clear ma yes no yes yes one clear yes. clear uh, yeah so 
see here this this particular word is very very important don't ever ever say reference qualifier is to is to restrict the data of a field if you say without reference then you will get so many questions i i seen i heard that particular answer from many many people even i asked the same written question okay this is very dangerous and very simple okay now reference qualifier concept is completed now i am going back <coughs> okay so who can there is an important question right so before i start the table table thing now i have one more thing to show now as we know reference qualifier question who can manage incident application incident or itl applications first of all this answer this question what do you mean what i mean is who can uh, create who can update who can uh, read incident who has a itl role itl admin yes. and itl admin i i written up yes <coughs> yes itl and you have itl uh, underscore admin yeah, ITL. it depends you wanted to delete yeah 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 itl role i will just start with itl role admin deleted deletion is not required okay let's say cru only cru d is not there okay okay so this is the question this is the answer okay even i given the answer also here <laughs> right so now this mean what is okay you have these many users but you can only select itl users incident can be assigned to itl users only 57 users are itl users in the system okay so see this one i am going to roles to show that particular one okay roles itil and then here it should be 57 exactly no more no less 58 is there huh? there are people 58 okay and now here how many we can see 57 okay one user is extra i need to see which user it is maybe sometimes system users will be there snc users will be there i need to see ma but 57 is fine one user is like a maybe this one <clears throat> okay one user is not a user but he have something maybe it came maybe in other ways inherited but even that is also matters but let it be 57 or 58 doesn't matter but we are not seeing all the users here but we are seeing only itl users here right you see in this point right everyone agree not agree yes. Huh. yes so now how to know why this is restricted this is also a reference field and something is restricting the data and you are seeing only itl users so what is the what is the concept behind that what is the concept this one right everyone agree to this point okay now see how it is restricting so go here check the dictionary and we will see how it is restricted we know that uh, incident applications will be managed only by itl users but how it is defined in the system okay simple roles itl users because of this particular restriction you can only select itl persons there if i remove this one what will happen the restriction will go everyone will have it yeah, everyone can be selected as assigned to you understood now what is reference qualifier how the system is taking the things earlier we know only a line but now you know technical stuff also agree yes or no <laughs> okay so yes reference qualifier okay we seen this now uh, right that's it okay that's it i want to say now come back to table that is our main topic okay 
so table when we are creating a table okay there are two ways one way is create a table as a plain table okay like make you can see from here okay create a table from a plain table means this is blank okay, create a table from a existing table that is called extend table so see here extends table the first one our career guidelines one it is empty okay and the one which we created yesterday for a demo it is like extend table and we given task table is an extend table right so that means it took the image of task okay and here we have 70 plus 171 fields created here okay so this is the same image inheritance okay it takes this one as parent table okay wherever you call it as like whenever you inherited the things okay from where you inherited that is parent okay maybe where is that extend table I'll just copy this one here okay from where you copy that is called extend table means parent table parent or <coughs> base table okay in our example task table okay and the one which you created from parent table is child table okay in our example it is carrier okay and if you see task tables okay if you see the child tables of task table okay there are plenty how i can say i can say like this okay all itl based applications not only itl based for many okay they are the child tables of task table if you see the image of each one like if you open this table if you open this table you will see the same kind of fields number short description something 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 what you see in the instant page okay so this is core first thing from this it is these things are created the same way how we created our class 16 table test table this is first point is that clear ma yes yes everyone clear yes yes okay now second thing is okay let's create another table okay and in tables table okay in tables table where is that hmm. we have how many tables 4082 tables okay now i am creating one table here new table okay just take test two and this this one not required okay we have how many tables here 4082 something now i am saying extend table and i am just selecting this one i could see 274 tables okay that means these 274 tables can be parent tables we can use them to extend okay these can be the, the these these tables have a uh, what do you say these people uh, these tables have an eligibility to being a parent <coughs> right what about others others don't have it right then how you are defining it like you can be a parent you cannot be a parent how you are defining okay how you are defining is till this point you got it ma yes Yes. yes everyone yes yeah so if you go to any table just to take any table let's say this table this table anything any table okay in the table level there is one flag where is that flag yeah this flag <coughs> okay if any table wants to be a parent table the table should check it with this one okay extensible okay allow other tables to extend this table 
so from this table like now if I say extensible equal to true this is imports a table but let me see it's still a table okay I made this uh, this load to okay what is that INC load to table as a parent table now it can be a parent table now if you just come here okay refresh this page right and now see that table also should come earlier it was 274 i guess now load to two table also came <coughs> you got this one ma yes everyone yes yes, yes. now again how you are seeing only those fields here only those tables out of 4000 tables how you are seeing only that tables here also reference qualifier right if i say if i remove this table then you can see all the tables there agree i'm sorry if you move this what's going to happen you can see all the 4000 tables as a parent tables uh -huh. what does that mean is if i remove that restriction you can see 4000 tables here not 175 tables 275 tables got it thank you Everyone got this point, ma? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So now, okay, again, uh, reference qualifier is one of our topic. I'm touching it, touching it, but that is not our main topic. Okay, don't deviate from this one. Okay. Parent table, child table, you created it, you've seen it now. Okay, how it would be a parent, how it could be a child, and being a parent, what are the eligibilities? That is the eligibility. Okay. Now, the most important thing is, Okay, very very important thing this point is very important ma okay try to understand if you don't understand stop me okay instant dot list anything is fine when you are saying inheritance okay the word inheritance now when you are when when you are telling that uh, child tables are getting things from parent tables right getting things right that that particular word okay maybe i don't know i can use that word but inheriting see here take one example okay uh, example is change requirement just see requirement okay change the uh, label name okay not label name but okay see here this uh, this short description is there right the short description change the short description okay maybe name to okay the uh, label name this is the label name you call it as backend name is short underscore description okay there are two way two things will be there name and label name okay lab name means the user see user readable name okay backend name is system name okay if you go to the dictionary you see that okay lab is this name is like this the one which you see and this name is how the system take it back and name okay so this is what my meaning okay so maybe change the short description name maybe label to incident description okay it should not be short description but it should be incident description this is one thing and make it non-mandated okay this is the one okay our max length also let's say max length also okay you got these three requirements ma yes everyone yes everyone yes ma yes sir. on incident table yes, sir. yeah this is very important on incident table not all other tables Okay. now tell me how I can do so if this is a requirement you got it now how we can develop this how we can configure this Ten, tell me based on your understanding maybe uh, Monagaru should not tell but others <laughs> okay yeah you know service now okay you should not give all answers uh, through configuration dictionary ah, right click configuration dictionary 
yes and then uh, okay let's say label name is changed you know? so label is incident description one thing right just acknowledge mm -hmm. whether it is right or wrong okay right and then uh, max length equal to 50 so 50 make it mandatory and mandatory not mandatory or mandatory okay let's say mandatory okay so i don't be touching it because okay there is something but i will be touching only one thing okay so see i don't touch those two ma okay that is the answer you are right okay but that is not also a answer okay we will see instead of 50 i will say 25 here okay i will not be touching these two i'm just trying to save it okay see here the change didn't happen okay intentionally and it is telling you that length change not allowed very good the short the field short description on task containing existing records of these many that exist 25 okay okay invalid update <coughs> so now tell me like whoever given the answer now tell me why this error is came what is the wrong why we are not able to update it this table extended from task table sir yeah this table is extended from task table yeah then fine why what is the problem so whenever we change the incident of a short description it is affecting a task table also okay see here what does it mean is okay task dot <coughs> list okay and short description you are see here when i change right click dictionary na maybe you observed it or not okay i will again i will show you one more thing maybe before that see color field is created on incident table color field will not be there in other task fields okay the table equal to incident if you change directly here it will apply only for task table incident table so there would be no dependencies but i am going from same incident table right click dictionary see the table that it is pointed maybe if you observed it not earlier this table is not incident table this is task table the field which we are touching is not only located on incident table it came from parent table to all child tables okay now if i change this particular one to 20, 25 that means what will happen is this field is belongs to all the tables parent tables and all the child tables of parent table that means where is our tables table <coughs> give me on give me one second sys y sys underscore db underscore object okay on task okay the short description field is being used by these many tables everywhere if you see if you open problem dot in problem dot form incident form change form everywhere short description will be there just let's open it okay so see here why i've opened one of the change so this like you see change okay problem incident we are seeing three things okay see here change okay short description same field if you go to dictionary right, it opens the same 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 dictionary page okay short underscore description if you see problem even though it is telling you that problem statement but the backend name is same okay so everywhere you are referencing to the same field this field now as per this error where is the error yeah as per this error if you change this one okay it will impact these many records that means all the table records so see where is the task dot list 
where I open task dot list. Somewhere I open task dot list now. Give me one more second. Okay, so uh, among these many records, there are 1078 records that have short description more than 25 characters. Okay, if I if this system allows this change, okay, by default, let's say it didn't given it didn't throw in this error, it didn't check this one. Okay, what exactly checked is when you saved it, it went to the parent table, seen all the records, checked the description, okay, the change, and it have any impact or not. Yes, it have impact out of 2018 records, okay, close to some 1800 records, it have this issue. Okay, so if you just allow it, then what will happen is, let's say 25, okay, let's say 25, okay, it will keep only 25 and then it will remove remaining portion of that. The max length will be truncated to only 25 and then remaining things will be gone. So the data base will be collapsed. You, you won't be seeing anything beyond 25 characters. And it won't happen only for incident table, just schema. When you are seeing task table, task record means, okay, all the child records will be considered under task only, Ch change, change is task, okay, incident, problem, everything, whatever the 42 tables are there, now, all the records are task table records only. Okay, so this is very, very, very dangerous act. When you are doing any modification to any table field, First to see, when you are saying right click dictionary, okay, you need to first to see what is, where is that error, ma? Ah, you need to first to see what is, okay, which table you are selecting, which table it is changing. Is it changing only your desirable table or it is changing the entire parent table? If it is entire parent table, you should not directly do. You have some other alternatives, dictionary override. Okay. If you don't know this one, if you did this one, then you made a big, big mistake. Fasak. Next day, pink slip. <laughs> because if the data truncates, na, you won't be having any option to get it back. Right? So, be careful. that th There is intention I specifically shown sharing this one. So, when we are doing this kind of changes on task child tables, okay? You should be very careful and the second thing is this is how the relationship happens between parent and child when we say parent and child extensible it is not like you are just creating a table copy make an image and all okay if you beat father night you are beating child also you got it does that make sense yes. So, sir, it's impact. Yeah, it's a impact. Okay. So, now, how I can do changes only to child and should not impact parent? Okay, that's where we will get one concept called dictionary override. And it is our tomorrow concept. <coughs> is that clear now? All good for today? Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, I think we can end here. Okay. So, I think uh, our. Uh, so, I can say this is our phase one ma. Dictionary override, even reference qualifier and all, we can make it to phase two. So, we can end here and we can consider as phase one. So, today is what? Friday. So, tomorrow class, I will be asking questions on phase one. I will be covering. Uh, this dictionary override concept and then I will be taking class questions also for all the topics that we completed so far I can I will randomly ask okay the question and I, I will all randomly ask to the person also okay so prepare till this point and whoever joined maybe yesterday day before yesterday for them it's exceptional okay still you can try because it's an opportunity and Everyone try to speak as much as you can. Don't be silent. Don't hesitate to speak.
even if you tell wrong answer that is a, that is very good if you tell wrong that is very good it gives an opportunity to discuss on it okay so that is the program for tomorrow and uh, yeah again i'm saying uh, you can practice whatever we are covering here just to see all these things okay and all you can create your own table frame the modules and see these things and also <coughs> any questions yes yes ma'am please um in our tables in our applications do we have assigned two field yes i think uh, give me one second i think we have it we give me one second cancel okay assignment group yes, assigned to i think we have it now okay so if i create an application like like that one and a new table like that one and um, the client doesn't know doesn't know anything about the rule and stuff like that is it the best to practice to make the assign to uh, use the um, qualifier reference qualifier only for item no or no, it depends no. on it depends on the requirement see uh, the definition of ITL application so it's not an ITL application right first thing mm -hmm. generally ITL application ITSM applications they have a definition system definition where they should be only uh, yeah, they should be only assigned or managed by ITL people because of that service now itself is designed that reference qualifier But this is our own table and uh, there would be no restriction. Maybe you can say dependent value Okay to show only dependent dependent users. Okay, and uh, the Showing only for uh, like ITL users. Maybe that is an option If you have that requirement Okay, then you can keep it. If not, then you don't keep it. So it's either or. Either or. Either yeah, to... either or yes. Okay. It depends on the requirement. Thank if you. this application requires that, then you make it. But it's not compulsory. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. See here, maybe uh, there is a question. So, instant or ITL based application, CRUD, ITIL role is only for those applications and those operations okay but we should not apply the same thing for custom applications maybe custom application they may have a different see when they are give when they are giving you an application and design they will tell you we have a separate role to be created and those role people only should be assigned to okay then you maybe you can apply that if you don't give it then leave it like that it depends purely on requirement yes thank you good question yes any other questions please no <clears throat> okay any so uh, silence means no or yes okay no, no.